judge is expected to set the date for a preliminary hearing for the man accused of attacking Paul Pelosi. Yeah, David DePap is his name. He's still in jail facing several state and federal charges. We have Crown Force Will Tran standing by in San Francisco with the latest on the story. Good morning, Will. Good morning, James and Daria. Federal prosecutors, they have not gotten the ball rolling officially on David DePob. Today, it will be state prosecutors who will try to get the ball rolling. We do know that on Tuesday, the 42-year-old man, he pled not guilty to attempted murder, attempted kidnapping, felony assault, and elderly abuse. We do know that they will be in court, as you mentioned, and they will try to hammer out some details on when the preliminary hearing will begin. This is all important because once they get all these details worked out, then perhaps a trial will begin. It will be the most watched trial in America. Now, David DePop, Exactly one week ago and just a few hours ago, we do know, according to authorities, he was accused of breaking into the Pelosi's home in San Francisco, looking for the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. That's when the 82-year-old Paul Pelosi, according to authorities, ran across him. He was attacked, according to police officers, by David DePop, who is a Canadian national, and then ultimately hit in the head with a hammer. We do know that David DePop, he also faces many other legal problems, including from ICE, that possibly he could be deported. We are hearing that he has been in the country and has overstayed his visa by according to authorities, 14 years. So lots going on in the case. We are not sure if David DePop will be in court. But again, these are all the details, James and Doria, that needs to be worked out before they get the trial going, much less what he faces in federal court. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Will. And meantime, Paul Pelosi returned home yesterday after being in the hospital after that attack. He had surgery for a skull fracture at San Francisco General. And in a statement, Speaker Pelosi said her husband remains under doctor's care as he continues to progress on the long recovery process. Well, court experts say it is 